It's year three of Maker Advent. It's day one. Let's get started. Also, I'm on brand and I have a guest star for this year. Specially found all the way for our master is Banana for Scale. Hi. Right, Banana for Scale. Let's get some tats. So, how it's going to work this year? It's not just random tat that I found on AliExpress. There's some of that that I've got over the year, some different boards and what have you. I've also got an actual advent calendar to open, but it only has 12 days, so it's going to be every other day. So not every day, otherwise we're going to get through it far too quick. We want to save this all the way up to Christmas Eve. We're going to open up advent calendar today. Tomorrow it's Poundland, AliExpress, Random Electronics Tat. Day three, advent calendar. Day four, Poundland Tat. You know, you... You get the system. Uh, also, two cameras set up just for this video because I am completely on brand. And if I had to wear this every day, I'd get pretty stinky for continuity. Because I do film the videos every day, that's why it takes so long. Okay, okay, camera, let's have a look. So, the Pi Hut very nicely sent me this a few weeks ago. And I've been calendar for makers. An idea I had years ago, never did anything with, they've done something with it. And I like it. Why do I like it? Well, it's got actual stuff that you want to do. Excuse me, banana for scale. So rather than chocolate or some weird and wonderful stuff, you get stuff to play with. So let's open it up. Nice packaging, by the way. Also completely recyclable. Handy. Right. There's only 12 days. And I've just... This is the third take. I've widened the shot slightly for this one. Although you can just see a red box in that one, can't you? Or I could just do this. You think after doing 109 shows of the Pie Cast for Tom's Hardware, I'd have an idea what I'm doing on camera? Probably don't. Right, let's have a look see. Let's open this up. So, day one. Here's a big box. What is in the big box? Right, so. A USB cable and breadboard. Get in shot, Les. There you go. Micro USB and a breadboard. Always time to have breadboards. You may have two dozen already, but more are great. And this. A Raspberry Pi Pico H. An H? That character from the Line of Duty that was so popular that I've never seen. It's a Pico, but the head is being sold. There you go. I have to say, lovely soldering job. Looks very neat. So, Pico H, so it's not the one with Wi Fi. Just a Pico H is the one with Pico, standard. 40 GPIO pins. It's got the software debugger. Soldered in. But there's no cable for it in the pack. Got micro USB. Nice quality cable, actually. Nice and thick. Pico. Breadboard. So over the space of 12 days, we're going to get parts to build projects with all this kit. And at the end of it, you've got an understanding of micro Python. Electronics. And you've got the kit to play around and build new projects. So you can still get this. I know it's December 1st. I know. You can still get it. It's 40 quid, so £40 from the Pi Hut. And if I just switch over to my browser, uh, any pre orders you know, will get posted out on the 5th, I do believe. Week commence in the 5th. And it tells you a bit more about what's in the box. Um, so, yeah. All the components and project guides to get components in the box, uh, project guides on the PyHut website. And once we get to a few more days in, I'll start building some stuff we've been showing it off on camera here and there. As the advent calendar progresses, we'll start building the projects on the days where we have these parts on show. But I'm liking this, 40 quid. I would have liked to have seen a Pico W. Let's, let's be brutally honest there. It's two pounds more, so six pounds. And it's the same size. But they don't do a pre-soldered header version of this yet, that I know of. I could be proven wrong, and if I am, please do prove me wrong. But it has to come pre-soldered. But I'd like to have seen that, because the Wi-Fi element on that makes it really interesting. That on its own, great fun to play with. Learn electronics, learn micro Python, learn circuit Python. Great fun, no problem with that at all. But Wi-Fi is just, it's so simple on this as well with micro Python. It would have been really nice just to have it. But anyway, I digress. So that's a, that's today. That's day one. About a five minute video, which is great for me. 
and I'm going to ramble off quite a while. What else are we going to see in the video? Well, we're going to see, this is the Banana Pie Pico W. Look at that, I'm like a hand model on QVC, dropping stuff everywhere. There we go. Near enough pin compatible, not confirmed it, but near enough. ESP32, so Wi-Fi built in, and it's about the same price as that. But I got it and picked it up, bit of fun. What else is there going to be? Well, jump cut. There is also going to be, this is by the way, a jump cut. Let's go to the big camera so you can see. And now it's not a five minute video, so I'm waffling on. Uh, this is slightly bigger than banana scale. That's a, get it in shots, a window silhouette LED Christmas tree with LEDs in it. I'm going to take the LEDs out. And Pimeroni sent me a plasma 2040 wireless recently. I'm going to take the LEDs that came with that and wind them all around there. So I've got LED blinky goodness, RGB, NeoPixels. That was three quid from Home Bargains in the UK. That was fun. And a rocket. Right way around. Yes, a rocket. This is just edge lit LED. I've got some edge lit um, NeoPixels in my box of bits as well. Admittedly, this does light up really well. Shield your eyes. It's really nice, but I want RGB because RGB is cool. So anyway, I'm going to change LEDs in this for RGB if I can, but keep this edge lit blue because it's really nice. I have to heat it for heat guns to get it out. That was 10 quid from uh, Sainsbury's yesterday. Expensive, but fun. And I have lots more bits and pieces in the bits box behind me. But that's it for today. Well, I'll see you all tomorrow.